We continue the season three story here today, starting in week three. And we're going to kick off the episode by making a couple of re-signings here, starting with Cole Strange. He did not want much at all to return for the next couple of years. Gabe Davis as well, very productive in his first season with us. Only signed him to two years at the time. And I think I'm comfortable giving him a four-year extension now to really have him be what will ultimately be the key free agent signing of this series, of course, because of our house rules. Here's a look at some of the other guys that we might be signing later, but that's all we'll do here in this episode. And so let's hop into week three against the Saints, which will obviously be our sim game here today. A very high-powered scoring first half for us gives us quite the lead heading into the second half and the scoring definitely slowed down but we did not let the saints back into this one at all just kind of took a hold of this game from the beginning and did not let go 30 to 7 is the final on the road in new orleans George smart picking up win number two on the year Putting us at 2 and 1. Let's take a look here at the player stats. Kevin Blatchford only threw 15 times all game. I mean, we had a massive lead for a big portion of it. 24 carries for Bijan. You gotta love it. And then two touchdown catches for Monte Babber. He's having himself a strong start to his rookie season. Gabe Davis getting only 12 yards right after we signed him for four years. Not ideal, but. It's just one game, again, a game that we didn't really have to do much in. A couple of interceptions on this day as well. Very productive outing for Trenton Simpson. So let's shift gears now to week four, which we'll be focusing on a lot more here in this episode. Uh, our check-in here where we're going to have some built-in chemistry, I guess, in this game. Trying to score four offensive touchdowns. We did it last game. Tough to do it two games in a row. Our opponent for today's matchup will be the Baltimore Ravens. And this is a very good roster as we're going through it here. I mean, both sides of the ball. I, we are outmatched, I think, pretty easily by this Baltimore team. So we're going to have our work cut out for us if we want to pick up a win especially because we're going to be on the road here in today's matchup. But we're kind of going through the star players here, and I mean, it feels like I'm having to stop and show somebody elite at every position we've previewed so far. Here is center. They've got one of the best young ones in the league with Tyler Linderbaum. Definitely one of the fastest players at the position in all of football. And just overall a really good offense. Switching now to the defensive side of the football. It's not going to get any easier for us here. Justin Matavike, a very good run stopper. The rest of the defensive line, though, is, seems pretty beatable to me. But Roquan Smith, just one of the best there is. I'd probably say he's number two in football behind only Fred Warner. I had to rank... Inside linebackers, Patrick Queen. I mean, this is the team that gave us Trent and Simpson because their two linebackers were so good that they didn't need him, and we've seen how productive he can be. So we're going against the two guys that were keeping him off the field in his first couple seasons here in the league today. And then in the secondary, these guys have some absolute studs, including you know, what is, in my opinion, at least by far the best safety duo in the league. I mean, Kyle Hamilton was one of my favorite players to watch in all of football this last year. Awesome playmaker at the safety position. Don't need to mention the fact that he was picked one pick after the Eagles. Uh, yeah. Don't need, don't need to mention it. Here going against the Ravens. Our game plan, I think you have to stop some of those runs on the perimeter. They got a lot of speed. Gotta make sure they don't get the edge. Looking at this defense, they're number one against the pass and number four against the run. So there's really nothing that's going to come easy for us. I'm thinking run inside will be it just because, I mean, the defensive line was kind of the one spot that felt like we might be able to gain an advantage. Got Bijan up to 95 overall ahead of this game. He gets short and elite. 
pretty solid one for his final superstar ability. Christian Gonzalez also has a chance if he gets this upgrade here. He will not go up in overall, but he will get to 85 zone coverage, which is nice. So I'll have to wait to get that superstar ability for him. Aiden Boyd, top back up into your offensive line and gets plus two to strength, which is really nice. Gets him up to 90. And then last and honestly least uh, is Buddy Johnson here. A depth linebacker for us. So, with all the previews done, we are ready to hop into the game. Going to be rocking those Orange Crush unis here. It reminded me so much of those awesome Tampa Bay throwbacks. That's what we'll be rocking here on the road. Baltimore going to be in the whites. A very tough task ahead of us. And especially with that scenario to try to get four touchdowns. This defense is going to be tough to do that against. Blatchford in the offense will trot out onto the field first here. To start this game. Five touchdowns. The one interception for Blatchford so far. Hasn't even attempted 20 passes per game through the first three weeks. Been doing a whole lot of running the football here early, and I don't mind it. Bijan here will start this game off. He's got a hole. He's breaking tackles, and he's breaking more. Past the 50. Bijan down the sideline to the 10-5. Touchdown, Memphis. On the first play from scrimmage, it's a massive Bijan run. I mean, how many tackles did he break? At least three, four, five, who knows? What a stud, stud player and an electric start to this week four game. I mean, I could watch that run over... And over again. So just like that, it's now Lamar's turn to take his offense out on the field. And he's actually attempted even less passes than Blatchford so far. But we know where Baltimore's identity lies. And that is on the ground game, hoping to see... Some of the improvements we made in the front seven show up on defense today, and we're going to get a good start. Loss of one. Glenn Bush and Yatur Gross Matos combining there on that one. Jumbo package for Baltimore on second down. Lamar has time, has a man. That's J.K. Dobbins on a wheel route. He is down inside the 30. They'll say he's right at the 30, but both offenses getting explosive plays from the running back position. Ingram just fooled there on the wheel route, and Lamar was well protected. A gain of 54 for Dobbins. Lamar, he's got a man. That's Isaiah Likely for another Baltimore first. Had a lot of orange jerseys around him on that throw, but just able to get it off. Full personnel for the Ravens from the 16-yard line and got another completion to a tight end here. Ravens put seven more yards here. And get themselves inside the 10. Isaiah likely crossing the formation. In motion here. It's a give to J.K. Dobbins. He's stopped up for no gain. Nice job rallying by our defensive backs. To the ball. Make sure that play had no chance. Lamar on third down. Has a man past the sticks. It's Dobbins again. He's been involved heavily this drive. I think that's his fourth touch now. Now from the two. 
It's a read option, and Lamar gets past Grant Tilpitz and finds an easy path into the end zone, and Baltimore responds to our early touchdown with one of their own. Latchford now out for his second drive, nearly gets Javier Hendricks killed on that route over the middle. That's going to bring up second down. Two tight ends in the game for the Thunderbirds. Underneath is Gabe Davis. That'll be a gain of 11 for the offense. Watchford, he's going quickly to Kevin Williamson over the middle there. Identified the blitz and got rid of the ball. As soon as he could. Nice recognition there from the second year quarterback. To avoid the blitzer who was coming in unblocked right into his face. The kind of play recognition that I'm hoping we can see often here from Blatchford. In his second year. That run to the outside by Mitchell going to get stopped up for no gain. Couldn't really... Create much space for him there. Now on second down. Latchford, he's going to get Monse Babber for a first down. Thought that one was intercepted there for a moment. But now we've got the ball inside the 30. Latchford with his X Factor activated. We've got a bunch formation on the left. Latchford to pass out of it. Has a man. It's... Babber once more. Nice, steady drive down the field so far. Passing game. Doing all the work. Going to go to the air once more. And we had a man in Hendricks. He just had to put a bit more loft on it. And that was going to be a touchdown. But instead it falls incomplete. Now second down from the seventeen. Matchford escaping the pocket. He's just going to get sacked for a massive loss. Still my biggest complaint with Kevin is easily when he tries to roll out. Because all he does he, is he loses six more yards than he needs to on these sacks. Bijan, plenty of green grass ahead of him. But he's not going to be able to get all 23 yards there on third down unfortunately. Solid gain of 16, though. Guess a good play for the Bijan fantasy managers of the world, but in the end, we're going to need to settle for three here. But so far, two for two on scoring drives. I'll take it. Lamar into the flat as J.K. Dobbins for a gain of four. Able to hold on through a pretty big hit there. Pull back in to give to Dobbins. That one's not going anywhere. Pass game. You know, our defense hasn't been great, but we've certainly been stout against the run to start this one out. And under four minutes left here in the first quarter. Lamar's going deep, and it is broken up by Christian Gonzalez. Always been a consistently good player for us since really... Game one, and that's going to be a stop by the defense. Incompletion on first down brings up second and ten from the 26. Latchford going to Gabe Davis, who holds on through the Rocky Sin tackle. That's Gabe's second catch today. Ashford back to pass again, and it's going to be another one towards Gabe. We're one for three. All passes have been targeting our wide receiver one so far. Maybe mix things up. Call a run, perhaps? I mean, we had an 80-yard touchdown by Bijan, and he hasn't been given the ball since. We tried there. 
But how do you get an 80-yard touchdown run on the first play of the day and then call 10-plus plays after, none of which are for Bijan in the run game, of course. We did throw him a screen on third and 23 last drive. But, I mean, let's run the ball a bit here. Converted that third and 10 with a nice out route to Williamson. Now we bring a fullback in, maybe looking for a run, but that's not going to be the case. What is that play? Tear it out the playbook. We lose four. How is that? That, that had to be a glitch. There's no way that wasn't supposed to be just like a little five yard out. And then the one time we do actually give Bijan his second rush attempt, it's on second and 14. Now it's third and 12. That's a completion over the middle. Gabe Davis on the reception. He's been heavily involved, which is nice to see after his one reception 12-yard game last week. He's definitely come to play today. Under a minute left in the first. We've got first and 10 from the 35. Bijan got caught, caught on his own man, it looked like, there because he had some space to the outside. That'll end the first quarter. From the 36. Quick throw to Williamson. Again, about half the yardage we need for the first. Bringing up third and four. You've got the bunch formation, but we're going to audible out of it. Into an oak. Empty backfield, I should say, with Kevin Blatchford, and he's got a man on the seam route. Monse Babber. Using the speed to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Memphis. And this offense is looking very sharp to start this game. We know we got to put a lot of points on the board going against the Ravens. So far, that's exactly what we're doing. I'm liking what I'm seeing quite a bit from the offense. Lamar, to start this next drive, has a massive hole and gets instantly past the 40. Just had no Thunderbirds within 10 yards of him, it seemed like, on that read option. So far, we have not been very prepared for it, despite the fact that we're playing Lamar Jackson. Jalen Carter gets there for his first sack of the day. He's definitely been dominant for us so far to start his third season. Back to the 34. Lamar back to pass. Has a Flowers. He hit him in stride. That's going to get close to the first down marker. They'll call it a gain of 17 for Zay. And it's a very easy third and inches for Baltimore with their run game. You got to imagine it'll be... No sweat picking this up, and that's pretty much exactly what happened. Although that is the first positive gain for J.K. Dobbins on a run play today. Three tight ends for the Ravens. It's another give to Dobbins, and this one is an even bigger gain. We'll call it a gain of 11 on that run. Baltimore right now right in that fringe score, scoring territory, and he had a man there. Devon Duvernay with the drop. Second down. Read option once more. This time we're prepared. Christian Gonzalez, the first to get to Lamar. It'll be a loss of two. Now it's third and long. This is exactly the kind of situations you want Baltimore to be in. But Lamar has a man open down the sideline. He hit him in stride. That is George Chisholm for the touchdown. He beats Kenya Gibson off the line. And Lamar put a beautiful pass right on the money that allowed him to run straight into the end zone. 
It's been an up and down start to the career of Kenya, and that continues here in week four. Given to Bijan here to start this drive. That's what I like to see. Let's see more of that. He's up to 90 yards now. Nobody's covering Bijan. Kevin Blatchford recognizes it and just hits him on the vertical routes. It's Bijan racing against Marlon Humphreys, and Bijan's going to win. Another massive touchdown by the superstar running back. That's the second time in this series that's happened where the defense was calling a defensive back blitz against this play, and it leaves Bijan just wide open. Nobody's covering him. And that's two touchdowns of 70-plus yards for Bijan here in this first half. Nice juke from Flowers there, and he gets rewarded for it by getting plowed into the ground. Getting a five on first down. We've got second and five now for Lamar. He's going down, Josh Uche, with the nice contain. To get that sack, he's in a contract year. Looking to rack up those sacks and earn himself a bit more money. Third and 13. It's a wide receiver screen, but Demir Hale was all over that one. It's going to be a loss of two. So three and out forced by the defense. Latchford on play action. Broken up by Kyle Hamilton. You almost got 300 first half yards here. Bijan with the carry. That'll be a gain of four. Now it's third down from the 43-yard line. Throw to Gabe Davis past the sticks. We'll keep this drive alive. He continues to be heavily involved in the game plan today. His fourth catch of the half. Carlos Roman lined up next to Blashford here. It's going to be a pass. Once again, targeting Gabe Davis, but broken up by Rocky Sin. Roman remains in the game for second and ten. Making the give to Bijan. Blashford, he's got a man. That's the fullback. Carlos Roman. Down to the 32-yard line. Gain of 16 on the play. Memphis trying to score again here. Minimal gain on that run. We'll call it two. Seen a lot of those pile drive tackles so far in this game. It was like more than your standard amounts. That one's Gabe Davis on a corner out. He is into the end zone for the Memphis Thunderbirds. The high octane offense just continues to come through. Blatchford is just making the right reads, putting these throws on the money, and his playmakers are rewarding him. It is 31 first half points in this game right now we have not seen this level of offense so far in this series under three minutes in the half the Ravens really need to come up with something here to turn this into a competitive game as Trenton Simpson just was all over that play third down now Probably the last play before the two minute warning, unless it's an incomplete pass. It stops the clock. Jalen Carter, he's getting to Lamar Jackson there. And that'll force a Baltimore punt. And if we're showing a punt, you know something important is about to happen. Monse Babber, pretty short 
return, but he would get shaken up on this play. That's the risk, of course, of having one of your better playmakers serve as your return man. It's that increased injury risk, and he's been really good for us to start his rookie campaign. Gabe Davis gain a seven to start the drive. He's up to 86 yards today. Latchford almost got that one picked. And if it was picked, it was likely going for six. That was dangerous. We don't need to give Baltimore free points here. Wonder how aggressive we're going to be with this score. You're on third down. We're going to pretty much just give up on the drive. We're on the draw. We'll give the ball back to Baltimore. They'll have one more chance. Lamar. Incomplete for Duvernay. Gonzalez in coverage. Now second down. From the 26. Lamar. Complete to Mark Andrews. That'll bring up third down. That one over the middle to Zay Flowers. Nice catch in traffic. Baltimore now in the hurry up. Trying to put together a scoring drive. Lamar. Incomplete for Andrews. I mean, he's testing Gonzalez, but he has been ready. Pretty much all game long. Is he even allowed a catch in this game? Not that I can remember it currently. That one completes Andrews. He's stood up. After a game of nine and a half, Baltimore will call their second time out ahead of third and inches. Those two lines nearly touching. Here is Lamar's going to throw a pick. It's Kelvin Joseph. Doesn't get a ton of playing time, but he does get some dime package looks. And here, he was just standing still. You got to wonder if Lamar even saw him. What a big time play by the defense. Now offensively, it looks like we're going to try to come up with some type of score here as that's a beautiful catch by Bijan down the sideline. Puts him over 100 yards receiving at the half. I mean, Gabe Davis has had an excellent receiving day. Even he's not over 100 yards yet. Blatchford, he's got a man. It's Javier Hendricks, and we somehow eke out another first half touchdown. Making it 38 first half points for our Memphis Thunderbirds. I mean, and this is against maybe what will be the best defense we'll play all year. What a performance. 313 passing yards in the first half. Not quite a record. But dang, was it really, really impressive. All we got to do is have a couple more strong drives on both sides of the ball. And you think this game might be over well before the fourth quarter clock hits zero. What a good run there by Dobbins. It's Baltimore to the 33. Dobbins motions behind Lamar in the pistol. Play action. Downfield. It is broken up. Big hit there by Blackman on George Chisholm. I'm going to make it second down for the Ravens. Zay Flowers all alone there in the flats. Catch and run past the 50. I mean, I know we're playing soft coverage up 24, but I mean, there was no Thunderbird in sight there in the flat. Solid run stop there. It'll be just a gain of two on that first down run. From the 
47. Amar. Gonna keep it. And gain just a couple more. Run defense continues to be impressive in this game. Lamar, he's going to Chisholm, but Kenya Gibson was all over his man that side. Bringing up fourth down. Is Baltimore already in go for it mode? Yes, they are. Certainly don't mind this call. You know, in Memphis territory. That one is incomplete. Pass broken up there by Blackman and others. Latchford going deep and it is dropped by DJ Chark. I mean, there's a little bit of contact there as well, but you have to think Chark has a good shot at that one. In a five there on the check down to Bijan on second down. That'll bring up third. That's for it into the flat. It is incomplete. That's your queen on the hit. Amar. He's going to get picked off by Grant Delpit. All over that route. Just jumped the pass underneath. And our playmaking safety continues to come through for this team. I mean, just... Beautifully placed there in zone coverage. Reacted perfectly to the pass. I've really loved that Grant Delpit signing for us so far. It's worked out better than I honestly was not only expecting, but even hoping it would when we signed him. Second down. Latchford. Has Gabe Davis again. It's his second touchdown of the game. And this game's pretty much over. I think we'll maybe show a few highlights here and there. Between now and the end of this game. But I mean, just a dominant performance. On really both sides of the ball, but... Been particularly impressed offensively. Here we see a TFL from the rookie interior man, Glenn Bush. Flipping over to our side, Keaton Mitchell. Jukes past one man, big play for him. Nice to see a Keaton Mitchell run work. It seems like they don't often. Here, Grant Delpit making more plays. This time, a loss of four on the... Read option. Now Baltimore has it at the 38. Lamar. He finds a wide open man in Baltimore. Gets their third touchdown of the afternoon. Trying to make things just a little bit more respectable. Here, a beautiful throw and catch to Javier Hendricks on the sideline. I mean, there were two Ravens all over that, but you know, when you're having the kind of day that Blatchford's having, you can get away with a lot, it seems. Awesome run here from Robinson for his 10th carry. We'd end up tacking three more points on that drive here. J.K. Dobbins on fourth and one with a really big run past midfield. Got pretty much half of his yardage on the entire game. On that one run. Here Lamar. Forced to evade to his right. And he goes right into the arms of Gross Matos for a sack. Loss of five. Five sacks for Memphis in this game. Here. Gonna add another one on top of it. Maurice Hurst would get shaken up here. But it would not be serious. But I'd end up just sim casting the rest of this game. Because... Well, things obviously had gotten a little bit out of hand. Baltimore would tack on one more touchdown, but still a 20-point victory by your Memphis Thunderbirds against a team that I honestly thought we might lose to. But 
our best players came out and they made awesome plays today and we get the win off of it. The first five touchdown performance in the career of Kevin Blatchford. One yard shy of 400 yards. I mean, just excellent, excellent stuff from him today. Bijan ends up with 14 carries, nine a carry. Had that touchdown as well. He also had 114 receiving yards to lead us there as well. Just awesome, awesome stuff from him. Of course, that second touchdown was kind of almost gifted by the Ravens, but, you know, we don't need to talk about that. A bunch of TFLs today did an excellent job against the run. I mean, just awesome game. The best our team has looked on both sides of the ball so far in this series, and it's got to get you feeling hopeful, especially with that simulated game from week three as well, a 30-7 to victory. I mean, our team is looking absolutely fabulous to start this year. Let's start talking about some upgrades now. Monte Bab would not be injured for a long time, and he's also revealed to have super star development after the game. No wonder he's been so productive here early. I mean, what a steal of a pick. He was a six-round selection. I didn't even want to take him in the sixth round. I wanted a running back. And instead, we get a 98 speed, 99 acceleration, superstar dev receiver. I mean, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. I'll just say that. Daryl Ingram. Going to help his run stopping a bit. Plus three block shed. Plus one play rec is a, an upgrade that's hard not to like there. Gets him up to a nice... 69 block shit. Mitchell will just continue to make his strength the strength that he gets plus one speed. Not that he needed it, but we'll certainly take it. We've got a lot of speed in that running back room. Work on Mac Wilson's coverage skills here a bit. One to man, two to zone. His zone coverage is also nice. And then Cole Strange will go power. Just inked him to a new extension here earlier on in the episode. His ratings are looking pretty solid. And then Jalen Carter should be getting another ability slot as well today. So we got one for both Bijan and Jalen Carter. Secure tacklers, not a great pull for us, unfortunately, but we'll take it, I suppose. Overall, I think he's got a pretty good set of abilities overall. And we did end up succeeding on that scenario of getting four touchdowns. We got six. And so we get 10 morale for it. Lovely. All right. Kevin Blatchford, no surprise, ends up being uh, player of the week. I mean, he and Bijan both very much so deserved it. But really exciting episode for our Thunderbirds here. We'll be back soon with weeks four and uh, five and six. Excuse me. Excuse me. 